Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Welcome back to Sunday Mornings with the Mayors. Well, thanks for having me. What we'd like to talk about this morning is a development that's certainly going to impact Madison. The uh, folks over at Redstone just signed an uh, agreement with the state to develop a brand new project being referred to as the Second Research Park. Mm -hmm. Billion dollar development over the next 10 years, several thousand new people out there working and commuting. Madison being so close to that, what do you see as the connection with this new development to your city? Well, and I think first, it is such an exciting project for the Tennessee Valley. Uh, I know many meetings have occurred between General Miles and his team, uh, Colonel Pastorelli, and then the, the Huntsville-Madison County uh, team. The, the key is, if we're going to continue to grow and be the economic driver that we have been, you have to have places for them to show up at, uh, buildings to house those folks. Uh, so it's an exciting time. In the city of Madison, what it basically means for us is that the infrastructure to bring the people here will be there. Then it's going to be the same as it always has been. Those folks have to live someplace. And in most instances, I say many instances, they're going to choose Madison. So the good news is it will help enhance this area and how it looks to those who want to come here. It'll help continue to, to give more buildings, more restaurants, and so forth. But then they have to live someplace. The key for the next piece is the roads. With the development scheduled to take some 10 years to, uh, to fully complete, do you see that as a plus or a minus? It's, it's apparently going to be something that happens in little increments, not, not a huge overnight development. How do you see that? Do you think the extended time to develop the project is a plus or a minus? Oh, I think it's a big plus, and, and the big plus for Madison is infrastructure improvements to start with. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things when you're sitting in Madison, um, working with Mayor Battle, we, we've, we've focused on trying to fund roads that help Madison residents get to their, to their jobs, which are on Redstone Arsenal and in Research Park. So Zert Road is already funded and, 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 and being uh, improved to a five-lane road. Uh, Old Mass and Pike the, the, uh, at Indian Creek has already been funded and will be able to help people get there. 565 and County Line, that interchange will help folks. The next stage is once they get to the arsenal, we need those gates on gate 7 on the west side and gate 9. So that's what's going to happen over the next couple of years is those infrastructure improvements are going to help Madison residents get onto the arsenal and off the arsenal. So again, people talk about working together. That's where working together is making a difference for our community and the Huntsville community because they live here, a lot of times they work there, and we're going to help them make that an easier uh, transportation piece, which in turn gives them more time for quality of life. You've already got to deal with the influx of new jobs due to BRAC, mm -hmm. and then this project was announced, meaning a couple of thousand more folks will probably be in there. How do you see this additional growth uh, challenging the city? Well, you know, again, a lot of what we've talked about in the first part is the roads, and, and I'm very appreciative and, and, and confident that we're making a difference um, in the road projects that, that, from an infrastructure standpoint, are needed to get people to and from. The other piece where it'll challenge Madison, schools. We have such wonderful schools here, and as people look to come in this economic driver, they're going to a lot of times pick our city because they want their children to go to our schools. The other piece of that is in Madison, it's critical that we add businesses of quality that in turn increase our sales tax base and allow Madison residents the opportunity to stay here and do a lot of their shopping. So schools and economic uh, uh, enhancement are two of the, the, the pieces in Madison that we're going we're gonna to have to focus on, and the good news is we have been, to make sure that when these wonderful um, things of, of uh, the economic drivers occur with Redstone Arsenal and the EUL, that we're prepared for it and, in turn, benefiting from it. So the fact that we've already funded, uh, found the funding for a second high school is critical. We're, if we start building it this year, by 2012, when a lot of this starts to occur, we're going to have a second high school. We're going to be in better position to, to, to take some of these additional folks. The piece that then follows that is, but we need the businesses that build our tax base but improve quality of life. So Madison has used this downtime in the economy to hire an economic development specialist to improve our website, and now we have someone focused every day on helping us make this happen. So, you know, you talked a little bit about how sometimes it's a long process 
but you have to do your homework and your prep work on the front end. We've done that, and so I think as these folks come here, we're going to also be ready for them with schools and hopefully with businesses that are improving our tax base and our quality of life. Normally, a community of Madison size uh, facing this uh, tidal wave of, of growth and development coming their way might have some, uh, you know, a little trepidation. And, and is, but is this a, a good problem to have uh, in, the, in the future? There's, you know, there's no question in, in when, you, when you see the stories that are out there in today's economy of, of real estate prices you know, dropping and your house is worth half of what you bought it in, um, you know, job concerns. Uh, a lot of, of the United States is dealing with that. We in turn are dealing on the other side. We almost have, we're going to have too much. And so Madison residents are, are, are focused on controlled growth on making sure that we utilize the, the funding that we have um, smartly. And, and so that's where um, it's a wonderful challenge and a great problem. Um, and, and working with our city council, we're going to continue to make sure we maximize the dollars that we have, prepare for what we know is coming. And yet, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful problem as long as you can continue to feed yourself. And, and that's the area that Madison now must make sure in this long process you know, we've matured to the point where the, we're the 10th largest city in Madison, um, excuse me, in, in, in Alabama. Now um, we, we, we have to take that to the next level. It can't just be houses. It has to be the businesses that support that. And when we make sure they land in Madison, that's taking us to that next level. So growth is a wonderful thing as long as you're controlling it and planning for it. All right, Mr. Mayor, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Hey, thank you.